basics will be the three gates and or and not but the combination of this three gate we will design this four gates nand nor xor and x not uh, see and gate have a three parts that one is logic circuit di diagram second is to table and third one is the boolean expression this is the symbol of and gate uh, two inputs will be there that is x and y in one output will be there in this two table we have to give one four x and y as a input means 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 these two inputs and we give the outputs as 0 0 0 1 this is the two table for the and gate this is the boolean expression for the and gate z is equals to x and y so first of all we only see the and gate programming then on the basis of and gate we will miss right or not nand nor xor and x not what is the eda playground the eda playground is a very long coding that we, that is the hardware description language in this case this module module means is our and gate okay this symbol or and gate is considered as a module in this case we have a two input and one output so this module have a specific name in in our case is the and gate okay module name is and gate it will be Uh, so there will be the some rules will rules for module name so all the logic circuit which we are going to realize or design can be treated as a module and every module will have a module name every circuits we have to design then we have to give some specific module name so in for giving the module name some rules will be there for module name should always start with an alphabet and then second rule is that module name should not contain any specific character other than underscore these are the two rules for module name so this uh, this is the first next is the designing and gate means for designing the and gate we first write a module name so in uh, i consider this module as a name i write this and underscore logic underscore gate underscore x comma y comma z these are our inputs and outputs these are this this is the our module name so in this case logical diagram x and y is the input and z is the output so only show the inputs as a x and y and output as a z okay so x and y will be declared as a input variable in this line and second line z is declared as a output variable so our program will be start from this module in in this part we have to write the functionality of logic gate we have a three parts that is data flow modeling structural gate level modeling and behavioral modeling in this part we have to write any of this data flow modeling structural gate level modeling or behavioral mode and then end with the end module this is the programming part we have to write in eda playground so see next we see this data flow modeling structural gate level modeling and behavioral mode. in this data flow modeling it takes into consideration the boolean expression means data flow modeling we have to write the boolean expression and in structural gate level modeling we have to write in logic circuit and behavioral modeling we have to write the truth table means uh, only these basic things you have to know then next we start with the data flow modeling this is our programming part means in ada tools there are two part means one part is designing and second one part is the test bench for in designing we have to write first that module and module name and what are the inputs and outputs will be there so then inputs will be x y output will be z and then this input and output will be assigned to our boolean expression so this is the function for assigning the expression okay so write assign z is equals to x this is the and operator and And y. Then 
end with the end module then the second part is test bench then what will be right in the test bench just see first is the module anyhow it will be same module then this will be the name but in that name we have to write the test bench at is tb we have to write tb underscore and logic this x and y these are the inputs but in the test bench we represent as a register so we have to write register x comma y and the output will be represented as a wire so write wire say as a output and the next line is the our module name then we have to write the our module name and then a1 a1 x y z means again we have to write our inputs and outputs and they start with the initial begins this will be the same means we have to start this is our truth table initial begin then this is the and get to table what are the inputs x equals to 0 0 1 1 and y is equals to 0 1 0 1 these are our inputs but in the first line when we given x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 after that we have to write this inputs first input some time will be required so we have to consider 5 nanosecond okay hash 5 this will represent our the time then we have after 5 nanosecond be given second input x equals to 0 y equals to 1 then again after next 5 second nanosecond be given x equals to 1 y equals to 0 okay in this way we write this the truth table of this and get and then end and end module this is the program for the test bench this is all over programming for the and gate and gate then see these are or gate not gate nand gate nor gate these are the truth table for or gate boolean expression and logical circuit diagram this not gate this not gate have a one input one output okay y is equals to x bar means we have to give one zero then output will be one then in x uh, means we given one then output will be zero it will be negation in the nand gate is the combination of and and not then this is the boolean expression and logical circuit then nor gate so then this is the xor and xnor to table and uh, boolean expression again to table and boolean expression for xnor so first of all we have to design for only the and gate this is the theory part 